Hello, this is Erin, also known as Rebel Junk here on YouTube and Instagram. Um, today's video is our 127 haul. It's all the stuff we picked up to resell. This, most of the content here is probably just going to be reseller information. So I wanted to share with you some of the things I picked up. Some of them I know what the comps are. Some of them I just like to sell them and so I picked them up. <laughs> and uh, let's get started. I have my haul here from the 127 world's longest yard sale um, from Northern Ohio. So we shopped in Van Wert. We had planned to start there and either travel north or south, um, but there were so many sales that we never left. We got to a sale and the ladies were marking everything down to a dollar. So I don't know what they had on this. Um, it does need a little bit of cleaning, but it is a Hello Kitty steering wheel cover. Um, I'm pretty sure this is leather. Um, it is an official um, licensed item. So I'm going to give her a little clean probably with just water and a uh, magic eraser. Okay, so I don't think she's Polly Pockets, but she looks a lot like her. And on the bottom it says Bluebird. And I haven't um, been able to look that up. So it was just one little doll and the house opens up like that so i'm gonna have to do a little bit more research on that there weren't any other accessories with it but it's in really good condition and it looks like i paid a dollar and so um these two guys up front are paw patrol they run you know this guy's got his tag so they run about you know maximum ten dollars but i paid you know, 50 and 75 cents for them. Um, this one is a Star Wars Christmas ornament, but it's a fluffball stormtrooper. Oh, there you go. Um, again, about $10 um, on that one. And this one, I don't know what the comps are on this little mermaid, but she, <laughs> she's Disney and she's cute. And so I brought her back to resell. I think she was about 75 cents also. One purse along the way too. So um, a vintage leather coach purse. Um, it does have the correct label on the inside. She was only asking a dollar for it, but I felt kind of bad. I think it was a fundraiser. So I did give her five for that one. Um, and then, you know, this one's $3. It's vintage fossil. Fossil sells really well for me. I can probably list this one around 15. And, um, in the fossil family of brands is a brand called Relic. I don't think this one is real leather, but it was only $1.59. Um, I do like the colors. It's clean. I don't have to do anything to take care of that one. Um, it'll just, you know, be able to photograph and list it. Um, I did get a small Vera Bradley um, keychain coin ID holder. So Vera Bradley sells really well for me. This one's, again, clean, no marks, um, easy to list. I also picked up um, this coach wallet and so it's got two sides to it change on one side and then your bills and your cards on the other side again great condition um, correct label correct fabric I don't know maybe $20 on that one step um, this one is a gym shore ornament however I'm pretty sure this is the one that was sold um, at some department stores so not a lot on that one but still listable this one, um, I just thought it was really neat. So it's um, it's pottery, but it's a trinket box ornament. Um, it's clean inside, it's nice outside. Um, there's, you know, a little ding on the bottom there. But I don't know what I'm going to list that one for. I'll have to look some more into that. I saw this miniature. I thought, well, somebody might want that. If they enjoy wherever pots and pans, um, in real life, they might enjoy the miniature also. So I did pick that one up. I think it was just a dollar. This bag of vintage doll parts <laughs> was kind of intriguing to me. Um, I do think there's profit to be made on that one. And I did pay $5 for that. I'm going to need um, some help identifying the, the Russian on this. It is in, or carved in there. I don't have any clue what it says. So it's this neat little bear. It's 
stand in there. Um, I do think maybe his cane broke off. And there is a label on the bottom. Again, in Russian. I'm, I'm guessing. I'm guessing that's Russian. So there's that. If anybody knows any more information about that, I would appreciate it. Um, I am going to have to look that one up. This one we picked up at the Salvation Army across the street from the fairgrounds in Van Wert. They had really good prices, clean store, fully stocked. The staff was I'm lovely. <laughs> we really enjoyed them. So um, I did do a search for amber colored flower petal bowls. This exact one did not come up, but enough came up that were selling fairly regularly that I felt paying $1.79 for that would be fine. There's money to be made there. My favorite thing that I found at the Salvation Army was this pair of Converse. They are um, fairly unique. So they have these zipper details <laughs> across the back. Um, they don't look like they've ever been worn and they were only $7.99. So I picked them up. Um, it is kind of a black denim fabric on the top. So the laces are there. So um, I think I can probably list these somewhere around $50 from what I remember looking at comps on those. Um, so that was a good, good pick up there. Oh, one more plushie that I found that was also at the Salvation Army was this gold lame pink puppy dog from Victoria's Secret. I've heard that they sell well and I've not seen one this color before so I went ahead and grabbed that for 59 cents. <laughs> Can't beat that. Oh yes you can. This one was free. <laughs> this little guy was in the free box. I grabbed it. I don't know what it's worth at all. I have no idea but figured it was worth a shot. I'm not even exactly sure what it's for. Maybe Christmas lights? A small Vera Bradley purse for a dollar. This is a line that they call frill and you, can, you can't see it, but it's underneath the tags. They say frill on them and they're more of a vinyl. So they're washable, um, a little different than their regular fabric purses, but this one was just super cute. Um, I picked up a set of Little Tykes dollhouse pieces. Um, a baby carriage and bassinet. They were 50 cents each. This one's, you know, looks like maybe the dog got a hold of it, but uh, I haven't looked up comps on those. A few more things that I want to show you before we get into this mystery dollar box. When I picked up the box, I could see some things on top that I knew I could profit from. And it was only a dollar and I debated whether or not I wanted to take the whole box, buy it, take it back to the car, but we did. We ended up picking up, buying it, taking it back to the car. Um, one more item I'm gonna show you before we get into the box. And this gentleman sold me this watch for $5. It's a fossil watch. It is in the tin. Um, it has a retail sticker for $85 on the bottom, um, but it's not working. I'm guessing I can just replace the battery. So I was willing to take a chance on it. Um, it's in excellent condition. Doesn't look like it's ever been worn. And it did come with the tin, which is nice. Um, there's, oh, I'm just now seeing that there is a little scuff on the back. That's okay. That's not a problem. Um, if the battery goes in and that works, I'm thinking minimum $25 I can get from that. Okay, I'm gonna bring up the box off the floor. These are thick, heavy glass bulbs that are, um, they're carved. So these, this embossing that you see on there, that's actually etched in there um, with some depth to it. I'm trying to think what keyword I would use to describe that. But anyhow, um, nice brass tops. They all have hooks. I think we counted seven of these um, and they're, they're all the amber color. So. I know those are in there. This was on, this was on top also. I'm not sure that there's any uh, resale value in that, but I will look it up. It is missing um, one charm right there. Maybe we can find it in the bottom of the box. It's cute. Glitter <laughs> ornaments. 
not, not sure what this is. So it has this rubber bottom and a battery compartment, <laughs> but I don't know what it does. It has a timer on it. Okay, so I turned it on and it didn't do anything, so either no batteries or needs batteries. Oh my goodness, you guys. Oh, it takes uh, C batteries or D batteries. Well, I will um, update on Instagram what this does once I figure it out. I, I don't know if it's a light or if it's going to play music. Um, so I guess we'll see. Um, there are a lot more Christmas ornaments down in here. More of these. And uh, these are just plastic rose colored. Another one of the picture frames. I don't think those are ornaments. Just some little glass picture frames. Oh, this one's interesting. It says Midwest CBK made in China. I don't know, maybe, maybe it's an ornament? It's a little rusty. What do you think? It's glass. Oh, original price was $14. I don't think it'll resell for that, but I might list it. There's two of them, actually. There are two of those. <laughs> I have no idea what this is. <laughs> Any guesses? So it looks like this ribbon has been maybe pinned on here or glued. There's a hole in the middle, so some sort of spool. I don't know what we'll do with that. But, I mean, all, all of this together was $1. So there's definitely some money to be made on some of this. Um, Betsy P's Ger German, German, on the threshold. Um, oh boy, showing my age here. Woodmere, China, Newcastle, Pennsylvania. So, she's lovely. Definitely have to look her up. And see what the value of that one is. Um, it's printed. It's definitely not painted. It's not hand painted on there. I'm sure it's printed. And... Here's this uh, <laughs> set of uh, tulips, roots and all, which is really <laughs> kind of weird looking. You guys see that? The actual, <laughs> they have fake roots in there. I really hope that, yeah, they're fake. They're fake. But there's some, um, see those? Looks like they could be used as a cleaning. Not sure <laughs> if those are uh, in demand or not. There's uh, just a little picture stand. I think that might be it. The rest, some of them are new in the package. And there's several packages of them. But somebody's probably looking for those, you know. They bought some one year and they need some more this year. All right, that is the end of the things that I bought to resell. Um, I will go on to Instagram and post pictures of the things that I want to keep um, and let you know if there's any background story with those. Nothing really exciting though. Thank you if you made it this far. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Um, please subscribe to the channel, um, leave a comment, especially if you know um, any Russian or what I should look up for that little wooden bear. Uh, I would appreciate any input on that. Um, take care, guys. Until next time.